Yo, what is poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. Really means a lot to me and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting my channel, supporting my brand, and uh, I'm really thankful for that. You guys are awesome. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, if you could please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you could, man, just go shoot this video over to one of your friends and uh, introduce them to the channel, get them into fishing, or if they already fish, you know, get them to watch some of the videos, man. I'm growing a community, working together, growing as a team, and I'd really appreciate it. So we have a fishing video for you guys today, but not only that, I actually wanna show you guys something that I've been working on the last few days. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't been dropping as many videos recently I'm super excited about it. Some big things coming in the next week. So as you guys know, I actually bought an RV earlier this year. Or actually last year. I, I bought this right at the end of the year. It was like the 28th of December. Bought it right before the end of the year. I just have yet to be able to show you guys. Um, I've been working on a bunch of stuff in the background. been traveling. And um, I finally found a home for the RV. I just got it confirmed yesterday. Brought the RV out to it today. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the RV. And um, we're going to have a full in-depth tour if that's what you guys want. So I actually found this awesome lot. Big shout out to my buddy Clint, man. He uh, actually ran into him at a gas station. And he just was like, yo, have you seen this place over here? And I was like, no, I haven't. I drove over here, just confirmed everything. I was like, you know what? Sign me up right here, right now. And uh, now we're here, man. And I'm super thankful for it, man. We found the perfect spot for our hurricane to live. It's a great parking spot. This is actually 45 feet. The RV is 35, which I don't know if that really adds up because this thing is all the way to the back. Is this really 45? That's 10 foot, right? I don't know, it's somewhere near there. This is the first time I've actually shown it on video a bunch of cool things that are going to be going on with this bad boy and the video is coming soon i'm just super pumped about it i know my friends are pumped about it too because we have some big things planning up in the next five days we've been planning a big trip for the last month month and a half it's finally falling through and uh we're, we're about to go on the journey man it's gonna be fun we're gonna have camera guys with us we're gonna be filming some awesome content i don't want to spoil everything so i kind of wanted to catch you guys by surprise if you go follow me on my instagram at kicking their bass tv you can actually see my stories see my updates see my images along the journey and it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be fun we're gonna film a ton of content we're gonna be gone for like two weeks it's just gonna be a really good time and i'm excited for it but yeah i don't want to spoil you guys too much with with the uh old rv what i do want to ask you guys is what should i name this bad girl man what should i name this baby should it be called the uh is, is this a tour bus is this the party bus is this just the rv is this a big fat becky or big thick Teresa? What, what should this bad girl be named, man? Is it a girl or is it a guy? Is it a guy? Is it, I, I don't know. I want you guys to help me out. Leave some comments down below on what you guys think we should name this bad girl. Me and intern Brad actually brought her over earlier this morning, and uh, I just wanted to make sure she was all safe in her parking spot, all cozy over here with her friends, and uh, it seems as if she is. This is the first time I've been over here today. So listen, we're going to go ahead and hop into today at this. So we're going to go ahead and hop into today's video. We actually have a fishing day that happened about, I'd say, two weeks ago. Me and my boy Fletcher went out trying to catch some big bass, and uh, we had a good time. We actually did some bank fishing. We did some John boat fishing. We did some pond hopping. We did just about everything in the book to catch the fish for this video, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So hit the like button if you guys want to see some more content like this. I wanted to stop by the new RV home to show you guys, but but let's hop into today's video. Let's get it. Jerk bait on the spin. I said a jerk bait on the spin. All right, guys, we just got out here on the water. Recently, what we figured out today, we actually filmed a video this morning and uh, had, a, had an awesome day at one of the little lakes around here. And we're coming in this other one. This is the one that actually has some of those big hybrids. And uh, I'm hoping we'll get on a few today. This underspin and jerk bait is something that they would definitely bite. So we're going to start off with that. Um, we've noticed all these big fish have pushed up on the bank. You know, uh, in some of the previous episodes about a week ago when I came out here with Fletcher, it, those fish were pulled off and they were out in the ditches and towards the mouth of creeks and they are just munching on bait. But uh, what we noticed today is these fish have really pulled up shallow. So we're going to cover this tree line right here maybe throw off the bank a little bit on the drop off just to switch it up and see if we can find them stacked but we're gonna put in some work uh oh that one? yeah it's a big one oh, no it's not it's a freaking football dude how are they that fat 
how is, how can one possibly be that? It looks like a hybrid. It's so fat, dude. Look how he choked it too. Look at that, bro. Swallow. Look at this football. Bro, that is the fattest bass I've ever caught. Look at that. Every time you catch your first fish in here, it gets fatter and fatter than the last fatter. Dude, you've ever that is just look at the but seriously, look at that. That's just gross, bro. And the sad part is you can't ever tell on the GoPro just how sometimes when you have them mm -hmm. crazy just fish like that. It never justifies. That's it. almost a three pounder in a two pounder body. Oh like he is on the brink of it, I promise you. <laughs> that is just a slab. Well, first fish today, man, just straight football. That's the definition of a football. <laughs> he just went thump, thump on this underspin. I said, okay, let me just lean into you real quick. It just ain't biting. Oh, as I said that. Yeah, he's not big, but it's running at me. Look at that, back there. Oh, gosh, you're... All right, running. throw in there. Let's double up. Yeah. All right, perfect. Oh, look, yeah, I was about to say, I want to get in there. Ready to double up? Oh, sh dude, I'm, my bad. I'm going to reel past you. Oh, God, that was a... That's a big one, dude. Oh, my God. That's a freaking monster. Big get, fish? Like net? I, oh. I could probably get him, but he's big. Just try to catch one. Yeah, Look at right there, fellas. You're right there. This is a four pounder. Freaking toad. Look at that. Dude, they're big too. How long how far did you let that. it go down? Dude, look at that. Guys, we have been struggling this since these fish right here. We have not had a bite. Watch her. Look at that. Look at this belly. That dude. That's how the like dude. four and a half I caught yesterday was in here. <gasps> Look at that. They're so filled out. Dude, the one that bit me before that felt the same way. All right, let's let's tear them up. Oh, I'm mad you didn't get one. I thought. All right, as you can tell, we just put in a different body of water. Got Fletcher right here. We haven't been here in a very long time, so I'm excited about it. We had a lot of great days before. Dude, so we've, we've smoked them in here quite a few times, so I'm hoping today is one of those days. The water clarity is looking pretty dang good, so I mean, I'm expecting to catch them. It's been like two months since we came out here, but let's go ahead and you ready to get it started? Yes, sir. Try to catch some bigs, some old big bigs. I don't know. He could be up there. Did you just get hit? I don't know what I saw that. That was weird, wasn't it? I didn't feel anything. It's like oh, your I bait. Got a leaf on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is, what's it doing? <laughs> Caught three fish in that last pond. We were out there for about a little over an hour probably. So not bad, but hoping they're just gonna bite really good in here. It's clear water too. Well, this is a first time in a minute since you guys have seen this place. Each time I caught a massive bass, like I can't even remember the size of them. I think it was like five and six pounds, like, but they were just abnormally large, like footballs. So we're about to fish this pond with an underspin and uh, see what we can do today. You know, the places that we've been to just haven't been panning out. We caught them this morning in one of the one of the lakes, but you know, since then it's been pretty rough everywhere we've gone. So maybe we'll luck into a really big one here. Dude, it's fighting so hard. It's actually a decent one. It's like a, is he three pounds? Nice, mid two. Oh my God. Look how fat that fish is. I was gonna say, it looks pretty good from over here. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> dude he's just a just they're brutes out here this is good this is a mean fish just little head little mouth sharp teeth oh dude that's crazy that's a good one it's a two pounder he just randomly came up and grabbed it right off the bank it's like all this grass right here i really want to fish but it's hard to get that fish head through it it's kind of reeling all around it that was a good little fish Oh gosh. Dude, there's a big foot ca cast on this bank. There's a huge one that swam off. I thought I had him, but I didn't. It's like a two pounder, but that one I saw swim off was probably five, six pounds. Dude, the fish that swam off the bank though. Oh yeah, dude, that fish was really large. That's a good fish though. Two pounder. I'm gonna walk down there. I haven't been to this pond in a while, and let me tell you, it is so clear. It is insanely clear in here. Yeah. I don't think it's big. Ah. <laughs> nice that's such a good bite and this water is so crystal clear look at this i don't know if you guys can see him swimming around you definitely can that is just insane water clarity and this fish head bite is so fun i just love leaning into him like that like a crankbait before i have a lot of comments of people asking why i do that I, I said it in one of the recent videos but with this bait see how this head's flat if you hook set up what's going to happen is this bait's going to turn so if you lean right into him you're going to get that hook but if you try to hook set like a worm or a jig or a chatterbait, anything of that sort, you're not gonna get them. I'm telling you, you gotta, it's almost more important to do it with this than a treble hook bait. I just love just leaning into those fish. It's so much fun. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the key. We just got to this pond and it, the water is so clear. I, I don't even know if I've seen water this clear in a year. And what I'm gonna have to do for us to get these bites, see if we just walk down this bank and start casting out, we're gonna spook all those fish. So the biggest thing here is to, I'm gonna throw parallel just like this, just how I caught that fish, because once I roll up on him, he's not gonna bite. But if I catch him off guard and just reel this thing past his head, he's probably gonna bite it. So I'm just keeping that in mind and I wanna cast way in front of me, you know, not five foot in front of me, this water's clear. So I'm getting a good solid cast out there. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh! That might be a three pounder. God, this water's so clear. It's so cool seeing these fish like that. Oh no. Look at him swim off. I can see him right there. That's, that's that was a three pounder. If he wasn't, he was a very high two. That was a good fish. That's so cool just seeing this fish though. That's so neat. Like, forget catching that fish right there. Just Watching me fight him and seeing him shake his head through that water. Just watch how these bass react. Gosh, that's so cool. I'll throw it back over there. That was a good little soft bite. There he is. <laughs> Look at him fighting and shaking his head. He's not big. I can't believe how clear this water is. This is crazy. Dude, this is crystal clear. I just have not fished water this clean in a long time. Like, this is almost like looking through a water bottle. Like, I'll throw my ba bait up on that bank over there, and I can literally watch it all the way back, which is just crazy. Let's try to catch this fish one more time. There he is. Oh, I saw him. Little whipper. Oh, there's, there's, there's another three-pounder with him. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hey, I'm not, I'm not being rude when I do this. Just let me do, do my thing for a second. Watch what I just did there. All right, watch this. There he is right there, just a three pounder. He's a high two. I want you guys to just, 
I want you guys to just pay attention to what I did there. I I took this fish off the hook, and uh, so so I caught that fish right there. I kept on getting just slammed. Caught that fish, and I watched him follow it back in. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to catch this fish. What I did is I grabbed the fish. Notice what I did. I don't recommend ever throwing bass like that. I, that's not something I want to promote. But I did do it right there. Um, we're just gonna toss him right here. But I tossed that bass far to the right just because I didn't want to put him right here because he would have swam right next to his buddy and that fish probably wouldn't have bit. So I threw him right over there, cast it in there, let it hit the bottom, hopped it a few times. Bow! That's how you do it right there, man. That was, that was, that's the fun. That's the fun in fishing right there. That never gets old. Now let's change the swim bait out. By the way, Fletcher is still fishing at that other pond. I was hoping he would come over here. but we could get some double up action, but heck, I will catch him. If he wants to stay over there, that's completely fine. Dude, they're loaded. I mean, loaded on that bank. I don't have any with him. Get him off the hook real quick. Nice, you did it all on your own. You deserve a medal, buddy. Oh, gosh. In a couple seconds. He's under me. Yeah, I... That's what you got. Oh, dude, he just... There's freaking three of them. Watch this. Like, guys, come on, dude. This is like why you guys... <laughs> this is why we love fishing. This, this is why we fish. Like, this is the, is the best definition of why we just love bass fishing. You, there is not, not anything else in this world that feels better than that right there. And for you guys that, you know, I understand a lot of you guys might have a hard time fishing this time of year, which is totally understandable. Like I have those days, I mean, everybody has those days where it's just tough, but just stick in there guys. Just know that there's always a good day that's gonna come just like this one. Like I just, this is crazy. Like we fished for hours this morning, guys. I. We only had a couple fish, hopped around to multiple places, and now I'm finally at a spot where these fish are just, they're obliterating, obliterating it. Like I can't get them off this bait. Isn't that crazy? I was just talking to the camera. I was like, you know, you have a tough day of fishing and it's hard to get bites. You hop to place to place to place and then you, you start, you just catch them every cast. Is that not funny? Uh, Dude, that. Like every single time Dude, we've had like the toughest time at the beginning. See, people don't sometimes see that in the videos, but we've had like a struggle and then we break out of it and then we just start smoking them. Like, and it's the thing, it's not like it's that crazy though. You know what I mean? It's just like we fish for hours and all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> we finally find what we're looking for. Ate it on the fall, dude. Didn't even move it. He missed me, or he didn't eat it all the way the first time. Still fun catching him though. Beautiful fish. He just hit me. That seems like a decent one. Oh yeah. Dude, they're just, uh, this is crazy. This is probably the best bite I've seen out here actually. Fish head in clear water, brother. Except at a pond. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. This is one of those crazy days again, but pond fishing. Like this is crazy, dude. I just would never expect us to, oh, this is just insane. I don't have much to say about it. Did you see that? Dude, one jump. Oh, one jumped like you almost had it hooked. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm.